Thank you. Uh, so, um, thanks for having me. I'm Remco Portega from Wijnen. I work at SURF, which is the Dutch National Research and Education Network. Um, I'm team lead of security technology there. And as you can imagine, at SURF we get a number of DDoSes. We get them daily, actually. Uh, mostly they're just a nuisance, but uh, sometimes they're really cumbersome. And of course, we're not the only one in the Netherlands that get to uh, deal with those. Uh, so we formed a coalition called the National Anti-DDoS Coalition with uh, various organizations in it. And uh, together we fight the good fight against uh, DDoS attacks. Uh, we also do DDoS drills together, uh, apart from all other things. And if you look at the top left, uh, the Dutch tech services also part of this coalition. So once or twice a year, some of my colleagues get to DDoS the hell out of the tech smear, which is great fun. Um, but what I'm talking here about is ex ex exchanging information about DDoSes, the technical DDoS information, and for that we use something we call uh, fingerprints, uh, which is essentially a JSON summary of all the attack factors that make up a uh, DDoS attack. And you can see a sample on the slide. Um, and we wrote a tool to do that, and the original tool was sort of studentware, um, and then a colleague from ISDDM polished it up. Uh, but the approach is fairly simple uh, in that you uh, have a PCAP, which is basically a copy of your network traffic, right? Uh, you chop it up into smaller chunks so you can export them to CSV in parallel and load them into memory. And then you glue the whole thing together in one big data frame and then you do the analysis. Um, so you distinguish the attack factors, you summarize the attack factors, and that's your fingerprint, right? Fairly standard approach of doing it. Of course, the big limit here is the use of data frames, because that means you're limited by available memory. Now, at some point, I got to know DuckDB, loved it immediately, of course, and then I thought, well, wouldn't this be a good fit? Um, so I made a what I called a DuckDB dissector proof of concept. Basically, does the same thing, but rather than loading it into memory, uh, uh, simply leave it on disk and uh, uh, make it uh, into a parquet file, and then do the analysis using DuckDB. Of course, you can't use tables because if you use tables, then you load it in memory still. So that would sort of de defeat the purpose. Uh, so we use views for that. Um, and essentially, you end up with a few for each attack factor, do the summary again, and then you're done. Of course, this works. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. Um, yeah. Um, um, uh, but if, I thought it would be nice to show you uh, the effects. And I used a booter data set. Uh, which is uh, provided by the University of Twente. Basically, they fired DDoSes at themselves and then recorded the results, uh, which gives you a nice data set. Um, so uh, this is a, a, a data set of nearly 6 million packets. And this is the original dissector. At the top, you see the CPU utilizations. At the bottom, the memory. Um, and as you can see, you can nicely see the different steps. And you can also see that the data frame is single-threaded because it takes a long time. Um, and you see memory usage goes up to about 75%. And it takes about 12 minutes. If you do this with a uh, duct the sector, it takes uh, about 1 minute 14 seconds. Uh, you can see the analysis bit is quite a bit faster. Um, and the memory usage is, uh, well, non-existent. The, um, tran yeah, translating it into Parquet is the biggest usage, actually. So, 50% um, bigger in packets. Um, it takes DDoS sector, the original, 18 minutes to crash. And uh, DuckDB, the sector, does it in 4 minutes, 40 seconds. Again, low memory usage, very fast analysis. Uh, four times as big, then. It takes 30 minutes. Um, and if you look at the analysis, that's the small squiggle at the end, right? That's only 30 seconds. It's the translating into Parquet, that takes a lot of time. So, conclusions. It is indeed a viable alternative, but of course we already knew that. Uh, memory usage is very consistent. The only limit now is your patience, basically, uh, and it's much, much faster as well. So, uh, of course, we now use DuckDB in our DDoS dissector tool. Thank you very much.